To set up the React Native project, we have to first open the browser and here search React Native. Once you search React Native, you will see React Native learns once right anywhere. You have to open this website. Once you open this website, you have to scroll down to the footer. Once you scroll down the footer, you will see one command npx react native init my test app. You have to copy this command. After that, you have to open your directory, whatever place you want to create your project. So I'm gonna create my project inside local directory, YouTube, course, and here I have to open my terminal. All right. Now, once you open your terminal, you have to just paste the command just by uh, doing control plus V. After that, at the place of my test app, you have to write your project name. So my project name is gonna be NCS Music. After that, you have to hit enter. Once you hit enter, it will start uh, creating a React Native project. So first of all, it will download the template and it's gonna took some time up to the, your internet speed. So it's gonna took more than like, you know, five minutes or two minutes. It's totally up to internet. So let's wait for some time to download or create the project. As you can see that our react native project has been created. So first of all, we run this command. Once you run this command, it's download the template. After that, it copy the template, process the template and install the, all the dependency like react, react native and other dev dependency. After that, it's also in a slicer git repository. All right. Now, after once the react native project has been created, what you have to do, you have to go inside that project directory to go to inside that project directory. You have to press CD and you have to uh, press the tab. It will suggest the fold, folder, whatever folder you have inside your directory. And once you get suggested to that uh, folder, you have to just press enter. So as you can see that I'm inside the course NCS music, I'm inside my the uh, project uh, directory. Now, once you went to the project directory, you have to type code space dot and hit enter. So what is gonna do? It will open the project in VS code. So let me summarize once more for you guys quickly. First, we run this command. After that, we went to the inside our project directory. After that, we type code plus dot that went to the that open the project in the VS code. All right. Now let's close the terminal. And as you can see that our project has been opened inside of VS code. This is how we open the project in VS code. Another way could be like this. Just drag and drop the project like this. And it will also open the project in VS code. All right. Once you uh, created your project, you can see there is one file that is called app.tsx. It is the main file or root component of your file. As you can see that there is a lot of codes about the React Native. Now, first of all, to run this project, you have to open your terminal. So let's open the terminal. Now, once you open the terminal, you have to type npm start. So when you run the npm start command, it will start the server. It's gonna took some second and it will show a three options. As you can see that we can see a different option. Now I'm gonna press the E to open the app on Android. All right. So as you can see that we are having a multiple options like to run on iOS, you have to press I. To run on Android, you have to press A. And to open the app in a dev menu, you have to press the T. And to reload the app while development, you can use R. All right. So once what is gonna do first of all it's gonna open the terminal and once the uh, it's gonna first open the emulator after that it will install the application inside the emulator so it's gonna at the first time it's gonna took more time so let's wait for some minutes and let's see uh, how much time it's gonna took for uh, installing the app as you can see that our app has been installed on this react native emulate on this emulator all right now this is the root file this is the app.tsx file which is currently running on this app now if we do some changes here that changes will also reflect now let's do some changes and show you guys quickly so let's suppose there is called edit edit app.tsx now let me edit this with like this all right so as you can see that here we also get the dot so this is the file which is rendering right now so if you see guys here just uh, this code is written in typescript all right so we are supposed to use uh, uh you know for if you are guys you know figure friendly so we are going to use javascript and for that what we're gonna do this is the like you know uh, app component now what we're gonna do you guys can go through this code like this is the normal uh, functional component now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna remove this whole code for you guys quickly all right 
Once I remove this code, I have to also change the file from TSX to the Java JSX because we are going to use JavaScript instead of TypeScript for this video. Alright, now to create a, any kind of component in React Native, we have to write like this const app, alright, and we have to make an arrow function like this. After that, I'm gonna return a view. Inside that view, first of all, also I have to import the view from the React Native, and inside that view, we're gonna have a text. Okay, and I have to also import the text from the React Native. Hello world. Alright. Now as you can see that we are currently rendering nothing because we have not export this app component. So let's export default the app component as well. Now you can see that on the UI. Okay. Hello, hello world. Alright. So this is how we create a, a app component or any kind of component in React Native. This one extension which I suggest you guys to install that extension. The extension name is called ES7 Snippet. Alright, so you have to just search ES7. Once you search ES7, so you will see this website, ES this extension that is called ES7 React Redux GraphQL React Native Extension. Okay, React Native Snippet. So how it's gonna help us? Let's suppose I want to create an app component again. So how we can create this component quickly with the help of this extension you have to just press react r is stand for react and f e s so what that's gonna stand for react native default functional component with styles is component all right so as you can see that it's created one functional component along with the styles it just by pressing that command r n f e s all right now let's give one more sort r and f Alright, so if I just type RNF, so let's see what is gonna happen. It will create a React Native functional component like this. And if you type R N F E S, so it's gonna create a, our component along with the style sheet. Alright. Now after that, once you created your app component, we have to uh, you know if you see on the Figma, we are having a multiple screens. Alright. So we have to for that we have to set up the stack navigation or react native navigation because we are having a home screen playlist screen and player screen as well. So we have to set up the react navigation as well. So let's set up the react native navigation. 